Hello and welcome to the first Skybet show of the new football season. We hope you're well. We've missed you. I'm Ed Draper and I'm very pleased to say once again to kick off a new season. I'm joined by the top tipster himself, Skybet's Dale Tempest, alongside me now. Dale, have you, have you missed it a lot? We had a you know, well-earned rest, but you've been now researching for a couple of weeks. That's right. No football through the summer. No <laughs> European Championships or World Cups. So we've had three or four. It never stops really now, though, Ed. You get into the summer and there's transfers and there's rumours. We obviously had the Ronaldo situation, you know, an £80 million pound move. And now it's all settling down and suddenly we start seeing the pre-season friendlies and everything. And we start changing the prices. It's quite incredible what's happened in the betting for the Premiership so far. It certainly is. And it's a mouth-watering one to kick us off this show. All about the Community Shield. Chelsea against Manchester United at Wembley. The top two in the, over the last five years in English football. Been a different different summer of sorts. A new manager at Chelsea. Not much change apart from Zirkov maybe in on the playing side of things. But Manchester United, Tevez, Ronaldo out. We'll start with them. And I guess a lot of question marks around how they're going to line up as, as a key thing. Because we've got Owen in, potentially. Valencia in. What do, what do you make of them? Do you, do you fancy them to be frail at the start, getting used to the play? Or do you still sense that they'll come out all guns blazing? I think there's a couple of things to take in. We've obviously seen Manchester United's pre-season. You know, Owen's been scoring goals against weak you know, Asian opposition. Um, not a problem, he's settled in, everybody's raving about him, and he will get goals for them. I've no doubt he'll be a good signing. Um, the difficulty for Manchester United, I mean, let's take two things apart. There's the Premiership, we can't lay them. We put them in at 13-8 to 8 after Ronaldo basically left, Tevez has gone. We can't take a penny, they're 9-4 to four joint favourites, that's a big price. Skybet, we're top price in the market. Nobody wants to back Manchester United. Joint favourites with Chelsea for the... That's right, yeah. joint favourites with Chelsea. Now, for this game specifically, it's a one-off. So let's put Premiership to the side, Community Shield. Traditionally, it's a low-key affair, not usually, you know, all blood and guts. Everybody's got their mind on games in a week's time. Um, not usually many bookings, not too much goalmouth action. Um, it's usually a warm day. Uh, and so the pace of the game tends to be quite sedate. Now, United, I would say from the two pre-seasons, look at this game, Chelsea have probably had the better pre-season, simply because they've been playing against stronger opposition, AC Milan, Inter Milan yeah. in the States. Got some good results. Drogba's settled. Um, Essien obviously going to start the season this year. He was injured for half the season last year. Um, no major signings, nothing that's come in, but as I say, new manager. And we all had the Scolari factor, you know, last year, and the euphoria started brilliantly and faded away. It'd be interesting to see what Ancelotti does, you know, whether, whether there's going to be major changes. I don't think there will be. It'll be business as usual for Chelsea. Tough, solid, strong, difficult to beat, um, physical when they need to be, and they'll still have Terry at the back, Lampard in the midfield. Nothing changes really from Chelsea. Still no Joe Cole. It's the only thing on Chelsea, because I know we were talking about this before he came in, and you made the very valid point. Great second half of the season, and perhaps not a coincidence that Michael Essien was back and firing and fit for them. They've got him from the start this time out, which I suppose might make a difference. It makes them a bit of a formidable, formidable prospect. I think he, he is their Steven Gerrard. No doubt about it. No question. He's the guy who gets around the park. He makes things happen for them. He's different classes, Essien. Absolutely. He's great in the dressing room. He's also on the pitch. He's a leader. I know we talk about Terry and Lampard. Essien's the one they miss more than anybody. He's back. Now, in this game, 7-4 Chelsea, 7-4 Manchester United, 2-1 the draw. I would go for the draw. I just think the draw is a standout in these type of games. Last season and other charity shields. Yeah, I mean, Manchester United was nil-nil with Portsmouth and then Manchester United won on penalties. I remember looking at the corners. It was that 10-1 or something <laughs> on the corners from that game. Sad that I remember that for worryingly. But all these, I would definitely be under. So you want to be under two and a half goals. It's not a big price under corners, wherever that line is. It's not a big price again, but you've just got to take it that there are other things going on with these sides. Even if one of the sides goes in front, then they'll just be happy to sit all behind the ball. You know, winning the Community Shield isn't important, really. It's just about getting 90 minutes under the belt, hopefully not doing any damage. If you can inflict a little nick on the uh, your opposition and, and dent their pride, then, yeah, they'd be happy to do it. But ultimately, a draw, they don't mind either. Now, if you get into penalties... You have to be with Manchester United. You yeah. definitely have to be with Manchester United simply because Chelsea's record on penalty shootouts is pretty poor. Lost last year to Burnley, obviously lost Champions League. Um, so I would be against Chelsea in a penalty shootout if it got to that. I think the draw, 90 minutes, probably the best bet on the card. Well, certainly sounds interesting stuff. The penalties, though, their penalty taker Cristiano Ronaldo's gone. 
the main goal getter for the last couple of seasons. Mike Lowen comes in. They've still got Wayne Rooney and Dimitar Berbatov. How does the front four shape up? Is Rooney still left out on the left wing, or does he come in and form a partnership with either Berbatov or Owen? What's your, your take on that situation? I think he'll start Rooney in the middle. Yeah. Uh, well, I think, I hope <laughs> he does. Um, the one thing about Rooney, you know, he got 12 goals last season. He will take on this extra mantle. You know, Ronaldo took free kicks, took penalties, took everything. Rooney will probably step into the breach there. Um, he, he'll be the man who says, I want to take that free kick every time. Penalties, um, yes, Rooney, I'm, I would guess, would probably take them, unless there's something, it might be Ryan Giggs or who knows. You, you have to be careful with these things. But I think if Rooney plays, he takes the penalties. End of story. So that's a, a positive. Other players, I wouldn't be backing Owen. I, he, he's too short a price for me. He may get a goal. You know, he might, he'll might. he go flying in across the six-yard box. If, if anything's, you know, if any chances are there, he'll be there. But it's too short a price. I'd much rather be with your Lampards, yeah. those sort of guys. You're looking at eight, ten to one. They're going to get chances from midfield. You know Lampard will take the penalties. You know he'll probably take the free kicks as well. Um, so you've got a positive on your side there. Um, and outside that, maybe Vidic. I always quite like Vidic early season. Gets on the end of free kicks and stuff. So on the goal scorers, the short price ones, I just think they're too too short really. So I'd rather stick with the bigger prices and go with the you know the Vidic's and, and Lampard would probably be my two against the field. You, you mentioned Vidic. I just wonder what about John Terry though? Because is it a statement game for him? He's come back. There's been question marks about this courtship he supposedly had with Manchester City. You know the umming and ahhing that went on. Will he? Want to make a statement in this game and perhaps get a goal against United? I'm sure it will, but um, I think it's unlikely he'll get one. Yeah. Uh, they tend to cancel each other out. Ferdinand's one of the best defenders in the world, and so is Terry. You know, and when they come together, then you don't usually get much positive impact. It's usually the defender usually comes out on top. I mean, let's not forget about United. Whatever the changes going forward, remember they broke the record last year on clean sheets. 14, you, yeah. Exactly, and that was with a changing back four. They are still hugely influential. They will still be there at the end of the season. But for this game itself, it's a tough one to call. Neither side's really interested in winning it. They're interested in not making many mistakes, not getting any injuries. And in those situations, you just have to back the draw. When you look at your season bets, I guess we'll have to look at this and we'll, we'll take stock and look at United, look at Chelsea, perhaps the Premier League. Maybe you, you hold off to see how these teams are lining up. One person, Didier Drogba, after about five years of complaining and wanting to leave Chelsea, now said he's committed to them. He's, he's looked in pretty awesome form over in America as well in the pre-season friendlies. Would you, are you waiting to see how he, he clicks? Because surely if he's in top form, maybe Chelsea for the title looks a, a lot better proposition as well. Well, he's another one, isn't he? You know, Anelka was their main goal scorer all through uh, early season. And then Drogba came back, Essien came back. And no surprise, Chelsea's form went through the roof. You know, they were fantastic. Uh, Hiddink obviously had a big effect coming in. Just stabilising things, huge respect to the players. I think Ancelotti will have the same. And as I say, a, a fit, committed, focused Didier Drogba, well, he's just an absolute handful. He's impossible to stop. So, you know, you have to keep your eye on Chelsea. Anelka, one of those, he's settled into the, uh, the sort of right midfield role. I think Ancelotti will probably keep a similar formation um, and seems quite happy with it. Yeah. Uh, he scored a fantastic goal in the last game of the season at Sunderland to take the golden boot. Um, so why not? Maybe an Elk has won again. But for this game, you know, let's focus on the Community Shield. I think you, you've got to be on the thing. That there aren't going to be too much action. No red cards. No, no B Billy Bremner, Kevin <laughs> Keegan going about umpteen years when they ended up fighting. It'll be pretty sedate. Probably 1-1, 0-0. One, one, nil, nil. I'll go with a draw 2-1. to one. Draw two to one. That's your tip of the community shield. That's that's it for you. That's where you put your definitely. Money. I, that's always the way I, I like to go. Um, th another way to play, actually, uh, which I also like, is the half time draw. Mm -hmm. Now you're looking around eleven to ten for the half time draw. Forty five minutes. Um, both sides will just be feeling each other out. A bit of action, but they both want clean sheets. That'll be the main thing. So I think forty five minutes. Lack of corners. Lack of bookings. Lack of goals. And a draw of two to one. Well, Dale, you've wet our appetite very much. We'll have a Premier League special, a full preview of the Premier League season just coming up shortly. But this game certainly, hopefully, kick off in some style. Chelsea against Manchester United. It is live on Sky Sports 2 and HD2 from 2.45 this coming Sunday. Dale, great to have you on the show as ever to kick it off in some style. And we'll, uh, we'll speak to you again very soon. Yeah, it's great to be back with the football. Good stuff. That's it for this show. Remember, those check out skybet.com for all the latest odds on the football and any other sporting activity taking place at the moment. Maybe that cricket tournament that uh, we're all watching out for, the Ashes as well. That's it for this show. We'll be back soon. In the meantime, bye for now.